know your IS code provisions short lecture series. So in this short lecture, I will explain about non-orthogonal frames. So what, what does uh, it mean by non-orthogonal frames? For good earthquake behavior, frames have to be aligned along the two principal plan directions, that is X direction and Y direction. So if it is not, if the frames are not aligned, frames or vertical resisting elements are not aligned along the two principal plan directions, or if there is some uh, angle between them, then the earthquake behavior of that system or the structure will be complex. So what are the code provisions uh, which are laid down to safeguard against uh, this? So let's go into the details. Let me share my screen. non-orthogonal frames. So buildings undergo complex earthquake behavior and hence damage when they do not have lateral force assisting systems oriented along two principal plan directions that are orthogonal to each other. So that means what, so in plan, uh, principal plan direction, X direction and Y direction. If the frames are aligned along X direction and also align, aligned along Y direction, then uh, building's earthquake performance will be better compared to if the frames are not aligned in these two principal plan directions. So that means, let's look at this one, the figure. So in this one, Y axis, along Y axis frames are aligned, but say, as we go from left to right, they are not uh, exactly along the axis. So there is some angle. So, and also along X axis, along X axis, they, are, they look uh, more or less parallel, but along Y axis, they are not uh, parallel to each other. So that means they are non-orthogonal uh, frames. And here in this one, there are some structural walls. So along X direction, two structural walls are there. They are parallel to each other but along Y direction, they are not parallel to each other. So how the building will behave uh, when such kind of uh, structural system is there? So behavior will be definitely complex. So how to safeguard against that? So what code says is a building is said to have non-parallel systems when the vertically oriented structural systems resisting lateral forces are not oriented along two principal plan, uh, two principal orthogonal access in plan. So if that is the case, in that case, building has to be analyzed with all the load combinations mentioned in 6.3.2.2 or 6.3.4.1, depending on the case. So what uh, code says is in any direction, suppose say in X direction, when we are uh, considering full earthquake load plus full earthquake load of that direction, plus 30% of the low earthquake load coming from the another direction. So that means what EQX. So EQX has to be replaced by EQX plus 30% of EQY. And also EQY has to be replaced with EQY plus 30% of EQX. And also this 30% is plus or minus in X direction as well as Y direction. So in the load combinations, when we take say dead load plus uh, live load. So with usual uh, load factor, that is 1.5 times dead load plus 1.5 times live load. Now, when it comes to uh, cases where earthquake load is also part of the load combination, that is 1.2 times earth, uh, dead load plus 1.2 times uh, live load plus 1.2 times earthquake load. So this earthquake load we consider in X direction as well as Y direction. So if frames are, aligned along orthogonal direction, then we can directly use earthquake load in X direction plus minus and earthquake, plus or minus earthquake load in X direction and uh, plus or minus earthquake load in Y direction. But if they are non-orthogonal frames, uh, earthquake load in X direction should be replaced with earthquake load in X direction plus minus 0.3 times earthquake load in Y direction. So that means two load cases are getting added. That means every uh, this non-orthogonal um, non frames are there. So plus or minus 0.3 uh, EQX in Y direction, EQY 
in x direction so that is that is what has to be done so bottom line is 30% of the uh, earthquake force in the other uh, direction that means earthquake load in x direction should consider should be added with 30% of earthquake load in y direction and uh, in y direction 30% of earthquake load should be added in uh, y direction 30% of x, uh, earthquake load in x direction should be added to earthquake load in y direction so the intention of this lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand the code provisions in a better manner following references have been used in the preparation of uh, these slides thank you